I'm unemployed and I cannot literally sleep. So I thought I'll share my thoughts on this book, Cleopatra and Frankenstein by Coco Mellows. First of all, why did I even buy this book? What made me get this? Well, it was all over my feed and it does have a clickbait kind of a title. It's simply compelling, right? When I got this book, I did look for its plot. I must say I thought it was going to be more about Cleo and Frank like the title implies. So Cleo's in her 20s, she's a struggling artist and also English. Frank's an older man, part of the high society of New York. They have a cute meal at their friend's New Year's Eve party. And then they marry within a few months of seeing each other. But it not only revolves around them, but also gives you way too much information which I felt was unnecessary about the lives of those people living around them. Like Frank's sister Zoe, Cleo's friend Quentin, then there's Eleanor and Andre. So basically Cleo's lives in shambles and she marries a dude who's like 20 years older than her. Can you call this a marriage of convenience? This isn't like any of the rom-coms. So basically Cleo's got some family issues and I'm not going to go deep into it. And Frank's an addict. So yeah, bickering happens. Also at the same time, Frank earns a good sum of amount that allows Cleo to live without any financial burdens. So what I like the most about about the book is that the characters are insufferably self-destructive. They are so unlikable and flawed. So I guess any girl in her 20s rotting in her bed who's literally got no will to do better in life will fairly like this book. One could also say it's a story about a failed marriage. So this second onwards, this video is directed towards only the Sally Rooney fans. So coming to them, if you'll ask me if I felt her vibe while reading this, I'm not gonna lie. A teeny bit, yeah. So my personal judgment is that, you know, Coco Mellos had a vision for this book, but she just failed to pull off something, which is just, you know, Sally Rooney's forte. Yeah. So to me, it's just another book for a trash read. When you want to read something like, you could go for this. Like, I would rate this a solid 3.5.